Today I'm going to show you my latest purchase from iHerb and we're starting right now. Hi everyone, my name is Ivan and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want vegan recipe ideas, vegan and cruelty free makeup, tips on how to travel as a vegan and so much more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. <laughs> First and foremost, please excuse my seasonal allergies. I might sneeze in this video, but that's okay because you're on the next side of the screen and I can't spread coronavirus that way. I'm so ready to open this up. I will be lying if I tell you I didn't open up this box already. But I'm going to show you what I purchased recently from iHerb. If you don't know iHerb, what? How did this even happen? I'll leave you a link in the description box with a code if you want 5% discount on your order. Anyway, without further ado, let's open up the box and I'll show you what I purchased. <laughs> This might look like a weird purchase, but I had to get to a certain amount of total price so I could get a free shipping, so I got that. This is Freeze Be Gone Super Smoothing Anti-Freeze Hair Serum. Now, I'm a curly girl, you know, we get a freeze sometimes, and sometimes I don't feel like it. So, this claims to be cruelty-free, vegan, infused with botanical ingredients. So, this product basically sounds perfect. Now, I did try it yesterday and it worked pretty good. Most of the time I use it when I I put my hair up in a bun or in a ponytail but I will insert right here a video of me putting it on my hair so you can see the difference before and after. This order might make me look like an old soul and that's true, I am. So I got some spices. <laughs> I got some onion powder because I love Simply Organic, I love all their spices and I have Italian seasoning by them and over the time I've purchased some other products by them. Onion powder is just super useful in the kitchen, you can use it in soups, in whatever pasta or dish you're making. Onion powder and garlic powder are just lifesavers in the kitchen in my opinion. I love how they come in glass jars and not plastic. I do try Try to reduce my carbon footprint so whenever I can I will purchase glass and not plastic. There isn't much to say about onion powder actually so I'll leave you with that. Next we have main coastal sea vegetable kelp wild atlantic kombu certified organic. Where I live we usually have wakame seaweed or nori sheets for sushi but we don't have this kind of seaweed. So I heard you can do all kinds of salads, soups, use it with beans. Anyway this seaweed sounds perfect and I wanted to try it so why the hell no. It also says on the package that for recipes, facts and pictures you can visit www.seaveg.com. So I might do that and find some vegan recipes maybe. I actually didn't open it but I'm to right now. Let's see what it smells like. Well, it smells like seaweed. Very strong seaweed. I'll give it a try. I hope I'll like it because like I said, I heard it's really good for you. I don't know any of the effects, but let's look them up together. Kelp seaweed benefits. Because it absorbs the nutrition from its surrounding marine environment, kelp is rich in vitamins, minerals, trace elements. The National Institute of Health say that seaweed such as kelp is one of the best natural food sources for iodine as essential component in thyroid hormone production. Anyway, I'll give it a try and maybe you'll see it in a future recipe video so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is your time I'll wait did you subscribe already good thanks next on our list are teas who doesn't love tea well I wasn't a tea lover but I became a tea lover over the years I have two herbal that's four I have two herbal teas one of them I already opened the other is not my first purchase of it so I basically tasted both of them the first one is winter spice ah, who doesn't love winter I can't wait to just snuggle in bed and see rain outside my window because I don't have snow but if I had snow I would like to see snow outside my window I love twinnings I think they have great teas I'm I'm sure I'm not telling most people anything new but I did not try this tea before and I loved it. You get individual packages inside and the smell is just oh, it's amazing. 
I wish you could smell through the camera, but unfortunately we're at 2020 and it's yet possible. The ingredients in these tea bags are chamomile, natural apple flavor with other natural flavors, cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves. This just screams Christmas to me and it brings me joy, real joy. The other tea I purchased by Twinnings is wild berry. I love it. Sometimes berry teas tend to be too sour for me, but this tea is just incredible. It makes you feel healthy. I can't explain why. Anyway, we'll open this up and I'll give you a little ASMR. So much tea! Oops. Anyway, the ingredients in this tea are natural strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and blackcurrant flavors, with other natural flavors, rose hips, hibiscus, orange leaves, apple pieces, licorice root, roasted chicory root. <sighs> I want to drink this tea right now. I think after I'm done filming this video, I'll go make me some tea. Anyway, I love Twinnings tea. There are so many flavors on iHerb website, so whatever flavor you like, you'll probably find on there. Now, the next purchase is interesting. <laughs> I bought the Hooray Root Beer Lip Balm. Now, no, I didn't want the root beer flavor. I bought this for my boyfriend, but they have so many other flavors. It's weird to call that a flavor. It sounds more like a scent because I don't eat lip balm, but whatever. This is root beer flavor. There are so many other flavors on the iHerb website. My boyfriend is really bad with on his lip balm and in winter we all get chappy on the lips so this might make him feel a little more manly you know root beer and stuff it doesn't exactly smell like root beer it just smells a little minty and just a hint of root beer i guess either way it is great it smells great and most importantly it's vegan and cruelty free yay either way i'll ask him what he thinks about it and i'll let you know now you might think, Sivan, why would you purchase macaroni noodles online? And I have an answer for you. First of all, we do have here some gluten-free pasta. I usually use the brown rice pasta here. I feel like it just tastes super similar to wheat pasta, but we do not have the macaroni shape. And you know, a girl wants mac and cheese. What will I do? I'll just purchase macaroni online. So that's what I did. It is gluten and corn free. I don't like corn in pasta. I just can't understand people who eat that. Do you like pasta made out of corn? It just, I, I feel like it tastes like sand. No problem. I can't eat any other pasta than brown rice, maybe quinoa pasta. But lentils pasta and peas pasta just taste weird to me. Let me know what's your favorite gluten free pasta. I can't wait to have mac and cheese again. If you have any suggestions on vegan mac and cheese recipe, then leave me a comment below and let me know. Let a girl know I want some good vegan mac and cheese. Thanks. And while you're there, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Next. Okay. Well, we got here some coconut milk caramels. Now I can tell you, I just, you know, opened this box, ate one, and it was great. And that's it. I just ate one. But no. That's not what happened. I ate most of the box. I do still have some left, but this is addictive. I cannot stop eating that. If you love caramel, if you love regular caramel before you went vegan, this is what you need to buy. I think my next purchase from iHerb will definitely include all the other flavors they have on the website for this. They have coconut milk caramels with coconut sugar. They have one which is original, which I don't know what it means. I guess nothing else added. They have this one, which I have the sea salt and they have Cocomel's coconut milk caramels in vanilla flavor. Oh, they all sound so good. I want to buy them all. Actually, there aren't many ingredients in here. There are organic coconut milk, organic coconut and water, organic brown rice syrup, organic dried cane syrup, sea salt, and xanthan gum. So overall, it's not that bad. It's just high in sugar. I do not recommend eating this every day, you know, but if you ask me, you need this in your life. Now, like I said, I'm an old soul. I buy olive oil online. Now, this is not just another olive oil. This is infused garlic oil. Who doesn't love garlic? Who are you people? It has an aromatic, 
bold flavor. Infused with fresh aromatic garlic from a five generation family owned farm in France, our infused garlic oil is delicious for dipping and drizzling as well as high heat cooking, which is just what I love to hear. You know, nowadays, corona and everything, who cares what you eat? Eat your garlic. Eat your garlic infused olive oil. That's what I'm gonna do anyway. I use olive oil in most of my cooking. I just love how it tastes. I love how it makes the vegetables or whatever I'm cooking taste. So this garlic infused olive oil is definitely going to be a staple. I mean, I'm not going to use it in everything because it's pretty expensive and I have much cheaper olive oil where I live, but it definitely will taste great on soups, on pasta, for your salad dressing. So I think it's a great thing to have on hand. Nonetheless, but not least item I purchased is this is Microneedle Derma Roller. This is by the brand Grace and Stella. We have also a Hyaluronic Acid Serum. The serum is of course cruelty free and vegan. Now, why did I buy this? Well, let me tell you. This thing claims to fading acne scars, stretch marks and pigmentation, reducing appearance of fine line and wrinkle, tightening skin and minimizing pores, improving cell regeneration, enhancing face serum and nutrition absorption. Now, I heard about Microneedle Derma Roller not only for your skin but also for your hair or for men for their beard some have patches where hair doesn't grow so I heard using the micro needle derma roller helps it now I won't lie I have not used it yet because you should soak it and rubbing alcohol for about five minutes anyway I can't really give you a review on this I can just tell you what it looks like and hopefully I'll try it and I'll tell you a little more about whether or not it helps or works unfortunately this is the sad moment where I don't have anything else to show I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave you links to all the products down below. Once again, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Why are you still here? You want some? Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Bye bye. My leg fell asleep. <laughs> I left you on. Wipe. Wipe it. Wipe. Wipe. Dude, I got it in my head. What can I say? I think that's enough thumbnails. <laughs> Insert angelic voice right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some other word I don't know how to pronounce. An garlic. We had some technical difficulties. Wakame seed. Seed. On the website. On the on the website. It's uh, on the. <laughs> I can't seem to move this box without it making a ton of noise, which is annoying. Help her focus. You know, not her mother.